you know, we've talked about uh, Granny Madonna and the world tour that she's on right now. Um, and on the one hand, as we've covered, it's pathetic to see this 65-year-old woman trying to gyrate and twerk around on stage like she's 25 years old. She's, she's 40 years older than she acts, which means that even if she was 25 years younger than she is, she would still be 15 years too old to carry on the way that she does. So it's all rather pathetic, but it has led to some unintentionally um, entertaining moments. Uh, I, I, I think that, that so, so sort of ironically, this tour, this Madonna tour is maybe the most entertaining one that she's ever done because of these moments. And this week we saw the most entertaining Madonna moment yet. It's a moment that uh, this time has nothing to do really with her pretending that she's in her 20s. In this case, Madonna stood on stage and noticed that somebody was sitting down in the audience. Uh, and sitting down is apparently not allowed at a Madonna concert. I don't know. So she gets very offended that the audience member is sitting down. And she calls the person out from the stage. And the problem, it turns out, is that the person was in a wheelchair. Um, so it's a classic like Michael Scott moment. And she recovered from it about as awkwardly as you can imagine. So let's watch. Take this ride with me. What are you doing sitting down over there? Uh, what are you doing sitting down? Oh, okay. Politically incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm glad you're here. Oh my God. There's so much disdain in her voice. She, she cannot hide the disdain she has for this disabled person. Oh, you're one of those. Oh, so glad you're here. Uh, just to be clear, telling a disabled person in a wheelchair to stand is not politically incorrect. It's just incorrect. It's an incorrect thing to say. And, um, and you know, what I'm wondering is, how did Madonna not realize that a wheelchair was a possibility? Has she really never had a person in a wheelchair show up at one of her events before, at one of her concerts? Like, how is that even possible? You know, when we say something is free, it should mean precisely that. No strings attached, no hidden costs, no fine print to decipher. When you switch to Pure Talk today, you'll get a free Samsung 5G smartphone. There's no four-line requirement, no activation fee, just a free Samsung that's built to last with a rugged screen, quick charging battery, and top-tier data security. Qualifying plans start at just $35 monthly for unlimited talk, text, 15 gigs of data, and a mobile hotspot. Pure Talk gives you phenomenal coverage on America's most dependable 5G network. It's the same coverage you know and love, but for half the price of the other guys. Pure Talk saves the average family almost $1,000 a year. Plus, with Pure Talk, you know you're spending uh, your hard-earned money with a company that values uh, you and aligns with your values. Let Pure Talk's expert U.S. customer service team help you make the switch today. Go to puretalk.com slash Walsh to claim eligibility for your free brand new Samsung 5G smartphone and start saving on wireless today. Again, go to puretalk.com slash Walsh to switch to my cell phone company, Pure Talk. And also, even if the person wasn't disabled, you're 65 years old and you're really judging somebody else for needing to sit down. I find that a little bit hypocritical, especially because, by the way, uh, sitting down is the right thing. Um, I mean, you know, in this case, they had no choice but to sit down. But my only point is that everybody should be sitting. And I feel very strongly about this. This is a general rule that I believe in deeply, that if you're at an event, uh, and I've never been to a Madonna concert, but, you know, in general, I've been to many events where there are chairs and, and, and everybody has a chair that they paid for, but they're not sitting. And I just believe strongly that if you pay for a chair, if it's, if it's, at, if it's some kind of event, now if it's an event where everyone says no chairs, then fine. But if there's a chair and everyone's sitting, and you, and, you know, or you're supposed to be sitting and you paid for a seat, then everybody should be sitting. So when I go, this really comes up when I go to football games and I'm trying to sit in the seat that I paid for to enjoy the game. And I quite enjoy sitting. Sitting is one of my favorite things to do. Like, who doesn't like to sit down? And so I pay the money for the chair, and then you get to the football game, and everybody in front of you is standing for the entire game, which forces you to stand. And, um, and I find that to be, uh, you know, well, I always, felt, I always felt put upon by it. I felt, I felt victimized by it in so many ways. Um, but now I'm realizing that it's also ableist. So, uh, you know. And in, in a way, I'm a victim of ableism, which I, which I never thought was possible. But anyway, great moment from Madonna. 
If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Walsh Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.